Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris and I'm going to be doing a head shave now. I've just finished my face shave and had a cracking shave, really enjoyed it. Very smooth, shave I have in chalk mint, wasn't the strongest scent but it works phenomenally well as do all the shave I have in soaps that I've used and own at the moment. Uh, okay, so I'm going to follow on from yesterday. I'm going to use this soap again on my head. I really, really enjoyed this yesterday on my face. Great Licious by K Shave Works. It's a six ounce puck of soap, I think. Just let me double check that six ounces here yeah. and it's not it's a similar sort of price to sterling if not cheaper than some of these other brands but the scent i've just opened the tub there the scent's already filling the bathroom got my coffee ready and it's overpowering the scent of my lovely coffee this is handmade by me so it's not cheap shit bought out the shops but it's actually really nice coffee oh, i've been looking forward to that okay let's go I'm going to use my Edwin Jagger synthetic and I've never really paid much attention to this brush I always thought it was just pure black but it's not it's actually got sort of white strands that come through as well it's quite nice it's a bit like myself I've got lots of grey coming through in my head so that's a, a good match for me this brush I'm just going to dip it in the water shake out the excess and then straight onto the puck now this doesn't have the same sort of backbone as my other synthetics but it's still a very nice brush this is what really got me um, into synthetic brushes in the first place this brush it was only in synthetic that I owned everything else was natural here and as it is now I only have oh, three three natural hair brushes and I've got I will soon have seven or eight <laughs> synthetics which is fine I really enjoy synthetics but I do enjoy my two band finest wolf whiskers it's a very nice knot it's got a lot of backbone to it it's very soft and the Samoa Gonus Club bore is just top notch, it really is. If you haven't got a bore brush, or you want a natural hair brush and you don't like badger and you're thinking horse or bore, I have not used horse, but I cannot speak highly enough for that synthetic, not synthetic, for the badger, for the badger, for the bore, for the bore. The Samoa Gonus Club bore is just phenomenal. Right, I've got way more than what I need in there, I think. Put a little blob of water in my bottle of my bowl here because I know this is quite a thirsty soap. I did I put far too much water, what I believe to be far too much water in yesterday when I was whipping up the lather and it coped with it admirably. Just going to dip the tips in the water because I know it can take some more, it needs some more. It's going to need a bit more than that as well. There we go. So let's just see how we go with this. This stuff lathered like a dream yesterday using the Mueller travel brush. So now that I'm using a full size brush, I'm only expecting wonderful things from it. And you can see you can see how long I've been lathering for there, a very short amount of time. Wait till you see this. Literally so 20 seconds I was actually lathering for. Look at that. Look at the gloss on it. There's hardly a single air bubble in it that I can see. It's pretty much shave ready already. I'm just going to add a touch more water in there, so I can get a bit more volume out of it because it is a head shave I'm doing. I do tend to use a little bit more lather than normal. Yeah, this should be enough now. So I'm just going to work this now, really work it into a good thick bowl amount of lather. Yeah. This lather really is good stuff. Very, very easy to work with, very easy to load, very easy to actually create the lather itself once you've got the load. I can only imagine this will face lather just as good. Wait, you see this. Look at the shine on that. Right, I am at the consistency that I want. I've got, I think I've got about two or three days growth. Here we go. And the scent. If you haven't watched my face shave yet with this, then it's the best scent I think now in my day. It, it, it slightly pips. Club Cola. It 
ever so slightly. The ladder is as good as any soap I've got in my day. And at the moment, I would say this one, for me, is topping my list of 2017 soap so far. I know it's not a 2017 soap because it's been out for a lot longer than that. But for me, this is a 2017 soap. So at the moment, this one is sitting pretty at the top of my pile as far as I'm concerned. Wow, that's great. It's got great performance. It's phenomenal scent. Right, what else? Mule R41. Brand new feather blade this time instead of the Askel. I did miss my feather blade a little bit. You just have to bear with me with this coffee. I've been looking forward to it for the past day. So here we go, against the green straight away. So from pretty much from here on in, on this side, I'm actually going against the green, and now with the green. So across the green, with the green, across the green, with the green, and again, so it's still across the green. And then with the greens, I come around the back on the side on the court on, on the downward slope, should I say? Try and spit that out. Straight away, I, t I tell you right now, straight away, I've only used that. Done one stroke. The slickness that's on my head, just there, and that's dry. It's still really good. Really, really good. So on this part of my head, I'm still, this is against the green. And I'm now with the green on the back. And now I'm pretty much sort of across the green and with the green. And it's just about mapping your head as you do with your face. Head mapping, in my opinion, is a lot easier because your crown you don't really care about because that part of your head, for some reason for me, doesn't really get irritated at all. I can go over it and over it. Sorry guys, I ran out of storage on my phone again. Let's do my head in this. I'm probably going to need to get a bigger phone, I think, next time. So, as I was saying, I'm across the grain here. And with the grain. And it, mapping your head, as I was saying, it's a lot, a lot easier. Your hair tends to, unless you've got really screwed up hair, tends to grow in one direction for most of the way. So for me, Any little nick there, just one for a while, but that is fine. I'm a little bit tired today, so partly why I've got a beautiful coffee sat here, <laughs> which I may end up going and replenishing, not during the shave, but afterwards. And it's a cold water shave again. Yeah, I've definitely got a, just a tiny little one there. While I'm waiting on the sink, we'll fill it up, just whip up the ladder again, just give it a little bit of a reinvigoration. The 
the stupid pencil. Put the sting there. May as well just fix this little cut here while I'm at it, rather than letting it get irritated further. Let that sit for a bit and then I should be good to go. Right, ladder number two. Cream this soap is absolutely beautiful. Oops, shut the bloody door now. How am I supposed to see the back of my head if I don't have my door open? That actually helps heaps. This lather is tremendous. It's thick, slick, glossy. I mean, you guys will be able to see the shine just on the lather sitting on my head. It doesn't look super thick, but I can assure you there's way more than what you need on your head. But it's the slickness that accompanies this cream, this lather, sorry, that really put it above a lot of the other soaps that I've used. Right, I'm just going to go against the grain here again, or across the grain and some of it, just to sort of finish it off. <laughs> Got a little bit of irritation there, I don't know where it's from, it feels like a spot. Right, against the green on the back. This is superb. I think I may actually have a bit of sunburn, if I'm honest. I think that's possibly what it is. Slickness is... I can't find a better word than superb or phenomenal or extraordinary. It really is up there if not one of the best things I've got. It's actually a nick I've got up here, I've nicked my head. I think it's a spot I've nicked. This is really strange actually, I've got a couple here as well. Mm. Tell you what I've done here, I've used a pack of feather blades that are completely nothing to do with the packs that I bought, they're from a completely different batch. Um, so I wonder if that's caused me a few issues. Very sharp, very smooth, I'm not complaining, I'm not getting any, any pain or anything, but I do have a couple of little weepers, which you guys that watch me especially do my head shave, no, it's not something I encounter a lot of weepers on my head. If I get anything on my head, it's a cut, an actual slice. But that said, I know I'm going to have a few now, I'm going to have a few all over the place, but that was the smoothest against the grain that I've had 
for a long time. Probably one of the smoothest I've had. And as much as I've got a few little weepers, For a two pass shave, that's as good as it's got for me, if I'm honest. It feels very, very smooth. I've got a few, it's nothing to worry about. Right. Oh. And I say it's a cold water shave today. It's not really, it's a lukewarm water shave because I don't, I don't really have cold water over here on days like this. You get lukewarm and you get boiling up, that's it, you don't get any other option. the rest of the brush and I'll just add, to add that to my head and this is just going to be so with that guys another phone call can't win at the moment so yeah I don't know whether it's this blade or not. I've got to be honest it's uh, I haven't had any problems at all with a feather blade before this feels very sharp, feels extremely smooth, doesn't feel any different to any other blade that I've used from Feather, in my opinion. Yeah, I do have a few little weepers and creepers. Like I say, it's nothing. <laughs> nothing major. It's actually where really. That's as smooth as I've had, and they're all BBS, so they're all as smooth as I've had, really. I don't have any issues normally getting BBS on my head. As I did with my face shave yesterday with the K-Shave Whoops, the post shave feel is gorgeous, really really nice and soft, it's, it's really nice stuff other than the nicks and cuts that I've got, uh, not cuts and nicks but the weepers that I've got, they're not actually cuts, they're just little weepers, um, which I've not got heaps of that I can see, how am I looking in the back, I've definitely got one up here, I know that. Because I've seen that earlier. Right. So what I'm going to do. Thea's original. Splash of that. Let that work its wonders.
I'm sorry if this is a long video again guys, I've got no idea how long it is now. Probably in the forties. <laughs> With all the freaking coffee I've been drinking. So that was using K Shave Works, Great Blishes. If you like sweet scents, you love things that remind you of childhood, like um, sweets or lollies or candy or whatever you call them. Uh, chewing gums, uh, grape sodas, all that sort of stuff. This is the real deal, artificial grape flavour. It's not a, the smell of a, a green grape or a purple grape or a black grape. It's the smell of an artificial grape, um, which will appeal to so many people like it does to me. I know it will. It comes in a six ounce tub, it's going to last ages. I whipped up today using a brush which isn't even in the same league as other brushes that I've got, the Edwin Jagger Synthetic. It's nothing like the Game Changer or even the, the MyGuard or my Tony Forsyth custom. But it's a phenomenal little brush and it's what gave me the bug for it. So if you want to try a synthetic, it's definitely worth giving it a go. It's not expensive, it's about 30 bucks over here in Australia. Cheaper in America and cheaper in the UK. So it's, uh, it's definitely worth giving it a hit and just see how you go with it. Razor for today. Mueller R41 twist, brand new feather blade in there. Had a few issues with little uh, with weepers and creepers for some reason. I don't know why. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I've got a few sort of floating about. Just let me check on the sides, back of the ears and stuff. I've got two up here. There is one thing I do notice. Just while well, my video's rolling on anyway, and it's getting longer and longer. One thing I do notice. If I don't shave my head every two days. I get almost little bumps where my hair follicles are coming through. Not that there's much hair left, but I get little bumps and I can actually pick them off. They're like a, I can't describe it. It's like a spot, but it's not a spot. It doesn't bleed or anything when I pick it off, but it just sort of is raised up above the scalp, joined to the bottom of the hair. Uh, you guys that do BBS shaving, it'd be interesting to find out whether you get that problem on your face as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I've got two there. And I know, I know I'll have a couple on the back, but let's um, see if we can fix that with this new stuff which I used in my face shave, which was actually very, very nice. Shea Moisture, Tea Tree After Shave and Bump Preventer, Herbal Elixir, Prevent and Heal. This stuff's got a bit of a nip to it, so this is going to sting, I know it is, I know it's going to sting. But it dries in very, very quickly. Yeah, that's stinging all right. Woo! Holy shit! Oh, and then it's a it's like an intense sting, and then it goes and it's cool. I don't know how that works. <laughs> it feels really nice at the end. It's almost like stinging to the point where you think, oh, I can't take it anymore, and then it just fizzles away and just goes cool. And the scent, the scent's lovely. It really is a nice scent, and it'd be interesting to see how. My head comes up afterwards with it, with all the little cuts and nicks and bumps that I have. So there we go guys, that's me all done again, got the head shave done, lovely and smooth. Looking forward to, yes, yeah, so they're still, they're still weeping a little bit. I may need to hit them with the styptic pencil, but I'll do that off camera. I think I've wasted enough here time. Oh well, yeah, fuck it, I'll just do it on the camera. Done. Why put off till later what you can do now? <laughs> and I can just put cold water, rinse that off, give it a quick dry, and then hopefully I can just pull a bit of moisture over. Oh, yeah, post shave fuel with this stuff is really nice. But the K Shave Works soap mixed with that. It is super, super nice. Really, really nice. And that's me, guys. Take care, stay safe, drive safe, and don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.